I have many sweet childhood memories and homemade meals is definitely one of them. Growing up, we ate almost everything at home, breakfast to dinner. Mama made the best porridges ever and we just loved our Ibro Coco or we also call it a few cocoa and that is just simply corn porridge and with a little bit of spice we loved it especially my brother after me and up to date it's one of my favorite breakfast foods well mama is going to share with you a simple recipe and i hope you enjoy it so we have only three ingredients she has some corn dough some wintia or negro peppers and some ginger roots so to start mama has a cup of water which she's pouring into her pot and then she sets that aside and cracks her negro peppers. This is the wintia. Typically we grind everything but that becomes a little bit overpowering sometimes. So just you, if you want a little bit of a subtle flavor of the wintia, not being too bitter or overwhelming, this is what you would do. So she poured that into the water and now she's going to let it boil over. And whilst that is boiling, she's going to grind her ginger. Typically you will use your asanka to do this but this is just a little piece of ginger. And using this mortar and pestle just serves the same purpose. Now mama is going to add some water just so she can extract the juice of the ginger. Pour it into a strainer, rinse out the mortar a little bit more and add that over and then just squeeze it out. So to the ginger juice, Mama is going to add her corn dough or amore. This was homemade. We have a video here, so do check it out if you want to make your own pure amore at home. We have some warm water that she poured from the kettle. She's trying to measure it out. So that was one cup. She's going to add another cup. And then mix everything up. Mama feels like this is going to be still thick, so she's going to add one more cup of warm water pour it into a mixture and mix it up. Remember we also have one cup of water in the pot that we are boiling the huintia with and that is ready so we are going to strain that out leaving out the actual seed so just the juice like I said we don't want this to be overwhelming. Huintia can be very intense so if you want to have a little bit of a mild fragrance of it this is what you do and if you choose to grind everything so you use less huintia then probably you need about just about three or four of the negro peppers. So we've poured the water back into the pot that is the juice of the wintia. added our corn mixture now and rinsed it out with one more cup of water. And now we are going to start stirring this just like you would with any other porridge until it thickens up. You really have to be dedicated to standing by this and stirring it all through until it gets thick. Otherwise you are going to have lumps in your cocoa. And so one way to speed it up so you don't stand staring forever is adding hot water. Just like we did, you make it with warm or hot water so it's already hot and it thickens up quickly enough for you. So our porridge is beginning to thicken up and mama wants it to be a little bit lighter. So she's going to gradually add some water until she gets her desired consistency. If you want it thick like in Pampa, then you just let this boil over, bubble over and it's going to be ready for you. So that was a whole cup of water that mama gradually added and she's happy now with the consistency she has. Quite light but it's going to thicken up a little bit more as it boils. Once the porridge begins to bubble you don't have to stir it. You can just let it be on its own and it's not going to be lumpy anymore. Mama has added some salt. Cocoa typically takes a little bit more salt than most porridges so go ahead and add what you think is going to be enough. Let the cocoa simmer for about 5 minutes then you add your sugar. Yes we are adding sugar on the stove top. This is one good way to make sure that your cocoa does not get runny when you serve it. So the sugar in here and then you stir it and let it get all the way cooked before you serve. Well I think this was very economical for the moms as well. So once they put that sugar in taste to make sure that it is good enough in the porridge, you dare not add any more at the table. Mama typically would, you know, give it to you. You hear her go like, Well, until the kids grow up and then they will defy anything. Of course, me pesicha, me di be home. 
Now mama is going to add her milk as well. This is evaporated milk and yes, more on being economical. So once you have that milk here, you know, the kids dare not add any more milk. But most importantly, the cocoa is going to stay for a long period of time without getting runny at the table or if you set it aside to use another time so this was a perfect way to make cocoa for the babies you put everything in here pour it into a flask and just be serving to the baby as and when it's needed for about a 24 hour period still hot in the flask you just pour it and you're just good to go so back in the day if you were traveling with your child you know before all forms of baby cereals became so popular and especially if you don't have the means you just make your cocoa add some milk and have everything in the flask a little bit of sugar and just be pouring for your baby all through your trip it's already made simple easy your cocoa is not going to get runny and trust me that is what most of us grew on and here we are i love this i could eat this any day and typically when i'm pregnant i could eat cocoa like just like my brother all meals straight up i just love it so this is simple ready and if you're going to serve it at a table you want to pour a little bit of water like mama is doing the cup still had a little bit of the milk in it so she just rinsed that out so the surface of your cocoa does not get hard and so we carry this to the table to serve simple just takes me back to my childhood every single time now just look at the texture piping hot that's how you want to eat it i like it hot anyway and well breakfast was good we had some freshly baked bread as well and we truly truly enjoyed this Well, we hope you enjoyed this very simple recipe thanks so much for watching and thank you so so much for your support i am very very much enjoying my mom being here and it is just so good to know that most of you are enjoying the content that i'm making with her do share this video and please give me a thumbs up and until i come your way next time with something delicious be loving be kind be happy delicious, mm, delicious. Yeah, yeah.